My name is Haley Sibyl. Allison Galladay. So my name is Katie Barnes. Hi, I'm Anna Wynn. Uh, my name is Hunter Gorman. I'm Ava Diedrichs. Kathleen Townsend. Kale Kamenish. Tristan McCory. Sammy Shaven. Marty Hinders. My name is Emily Lair, and I am the FFA advisor for Ames FFA. Meet the Ames FFA chapter. Although just started in 2019, this chapter has a lot to offer. From telling us about what it's like to start a new chapter, exploring plant science with their first ever plant science class, seeing their classroom pet, hearing about the advisor that's making it all possible, and of course, hearing what members are excited about in the future. Let's check it out. It's definitely been a, a learning experience for everyone, <laughs> for me, for the whole chapter, so we're all kind of figuring it out together. Some people are still confused on what FFA is, but they're in the club to kind of figure it out. So a lot of people, we just don't know that much, and it makes it hard to know what we're doing. And everything, so. I think trying to get word across what FFA is because whenever um, anyone asks me like what does FFA stand for because they have, they have really no clue and I say like future, fa fa um, future farmers of America they're very they think it's very um, like a narrow subsection of people and having to explain to them that it's really not it's anyone who's interested in agriculture at all and um, a lot of people here really don't know about FFA and having to kind of spread the word is hard. Well we're pretty new so we're still working on getting people to know we're there and interested, but there's about like 20 people at our normal meeting and it's pretty fun. We haven't done a whole lot as of yet because we're mostly just working on setting up at the moment, but we have some stuff coming in the future. We've already done some fruit sales, which was fun. I think we got a pretty good turnout for our first year. Um, since, especially since a lot of people just don't know about us. So far it's going really well. Um, we've got about 20 students in FFA, uh, which is good for just starting out first year. And we've got about 90 kids in classes all together for first semester. Um, looking forward to another 50 to 90 probably next semester and we'll see where it goes from there. I think the part that I'm most surprised about, just because I had prepared myself for lack of knowledge, is how much knowledge a lot of the students have um, already of the agriculture industry. Granted, some of that knowledge is maybe misplaced in certain areas, but the knowledge is still there. And I'm actually very surprised at how much they actually know and how little I have to go over certain content. This year we've covered a lot of topics, so one of my favorite ones is going into the greenhouse and actually propagating plants. Um, we've also been discussing like plant life cycle, um, floriculture, uh, horticult horticulture, um, just agriculture in general. I'm in plant science and we've mainly talked about, you know, basic, you know, plant things like roots, the um, types of leaves, you know, you can tell the difference between them and of course growing things. Through this class we've learned how to actually do um, leaf cuttings and stem cuttings as well as a bunch of like fun interactive lessons. I, I definitely see the hands-on. It's so much fun to actually get to work on something because a lot of times you know during classes you'll always be you know, no offense to my other classes, but it's a bit of a pen, pencil pushing a bit of things, and there's nothing wrong with that, but there's nothing, in my opinion, more fun than actually getting to do something, to get to the meat of the work. It's so, you're just actually participating, and you're doing something, and it, it's good, and you feel, you feel like you're motivated. It's very fulfilling, and it makes you feel like you're doing something. In addition to their daily work in the greenhouse, members of the plant science class were also making wreaths during my visit. Check out this tutorial of the process they were going through. We started off by um, getting a coat hanger and bending it into the shape of a circle. This could generously be called a circle, but we then put, um, we use hot glue and newspaper, and we basically wrap it all the way around it. Then we get um, some wire, this 
of the ribbon wire and parts of you know the parts of the wreath, and then we slowly attach it, wrap it around, and tie. It. I love that plant science has helped me determine kind of what I want to do with my life. Not even if it's just like going to college for it, but I've developed a hobby that I've really come to enjoy. So now at home, I'm growing my own plants as well, which I haven't been able to do that before. Usually I kill them off before they can actually like bloom, but now they haven't. So our bunny's name is Sergeant Pepper. Um, he kind of, he comes out every once in a while when we're doing like work and stuff. And it's just kind of like a relaxing thing, I think. Because um, like when he runs around, everybody like pets him and stuff, and it's just kind of like it's not really a distraction, but like if you're like working hard and then he comes by, you actually stop and pet him. So it's kind of just like a reliever from what you're doing with work, and he's just he's just kind of there. So I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty nice to have an animal in the classroom because we also get to do things like handle him and learn how to handle him and stuff like that. Sergeant Pepper is a bunny, and. Um... We just like, he'll be out in class sometimes and just like on the table and running around. You gotta do like how to like properly like know him to know that you're there and like the flipping over and holding and stuff. The rabbit, um, getting hands on, learning how to handle small animals and everything. And just the hands on is what I really like. We do a lot of that. She has helped me. I, with everything really because I didn't really know what FFA was and she helped educate me and then being president the procedure is just very different from what I'm used to and her directing me through it has helped me. This layer was the one that really introduced agriculture to Ames High. We haven't had an agriculture class before. We've had biology classes where we've grown plants but we've never had a class that's just strictly on plants, which was really fun. She's um, a very hands-on type of teacher, so she likes to um, actually go to places so you can actually visibly see them instead of like pictures. So um, she just kind of, she's she teaches really well. I think she's a great teacher. Um, she does stuff that helps, helps you learn, but not being like papers and stuff like that. Being a new teacher, she's very approachable. Like, I think I would be a little nervous to like go out and talk to someone who who's new and like I don't know them very much but she's very like helping and like understanding so I can just walk up to her ask her any questions even if they might be like dumb questions because I don't I don't know a lot about FFA yet and so she just answers them very well because she seems very knowledgeable. Well she told me she's very understandable and easy to work with and she she's very patient with us way more I in my shoes I would have lost my mind. I I know I would have, but she she has the patience of a saint and she she always helps you if she she's more than happy to go on in some spare time and help you work with it, you know. I love my students. That's my favorite part of my job. Um, I enjoy coming to school every day just to hang out with my students. Some of them drive me absolutely crazy. Um, but a lot of them, but it's all, it's always in a good way and we always have fun in here. Um, I've even been stopped in the hallways by like my principal and was like, oh, I heard, I heard you did something fun today in class and, you know, just from kids, you know, word of mouth and whatnot. So, um, that's probably the best part of my job is just working with students, watching them grow. Well, I'm hoping that I will get to do extemporaneous speaking. So I hope that that will be very fun and I'm looking forward to that and just like learning more. I'm really excited to meet new people and expand um, my knowledge about agriculture. I really want to compete in like the floriculture thing because I went to Japan two years ago and we got to learn about their different arts and they have quite a few but um, some of the main ones, one of the main ones was flower arrangements and the host family that I stayed with their mother did that professionally and it was really cool to see what she put together so I'd like to learn how to traditionally make flower arrangements. The events and just getting to know everyone and getting to grow as a community because we're so small and getting to make new friends. I'm excited for this program to grow. I think this program has a ton of potential. Um, I think it can 
grow to be a multi-teacher program. I think it can grow to have its own facilities. I think there's just so much opportunity in Ames, Iowa, just in general. I'm really looking forward to this year and like many years. Next year I want to try to be like one of the officers. Probably well, going to the conferences, hopefully like winning a, an award and just being able to use what I learned uh, like to get a job and stuff. Thank you.